Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at a game currently in beta called Guncraft. This is a voxel based shooter. It also has a map editor and a class customizer. So a lot of options to the game. I'm going to go and look at just some of the things you can do before you get into a match. First thing you'll notice is the custom customizer. You basically pick a class and you can start unlocking and equipping different types of items for it. So you can actually make an assault with a shotgun instead of an assault rifle if you wanted. You can do all kinds of things. Very free to just kind of do whatever you want. So cool concepts there. That and voxel based which means there can be plenty of building, digging, all kinds of stuff in the map in the middle of the match. Kind of like Ace of Spades only this game has a lot more options. Let's go ahead and look at the map editor. You can also create and customize your own maps. Alright, and here we go, looking at the editor. Very basic, dropping blocks, looks like Minecraft trees in the background, no having to dig trees though. So you can change what kind of stuff you want, actually plays a lot like Creative Minecraft. There we go, you can change also the basic map layout, does have a little bit of time to load too. This still was currently a beta build, so there is a little bit of beta is beta going on at times, but you can see kind of lava underneath, all kinds of fun stuff. I actually saw one of the maps was called Spleef too, so I can only imagine digging out and burying people in lava, that gotta be fun. Let's get into the gameplay itself though. First thing I will say about the gameplay is this is a PC game, it does have, you can use a controller or a keyboard and mouse. It did give me a little bit of trouble. You can see moving with the keyboard and mouse is very, very jerky. I actually found that what I had to do to fix this was to grab my uh, Xbox controller on my PC, play with it for a little bit, and then I noticed that the turning rate was really slow on the on the gamepad, put it down, switch back to my keyboard, and suddenly it was working great. So my guess is if you have a gamepad plugged in, you kind of need to use it once. But after I figured that out, it worked perfect. So here we go, I switched to the gamepad, you can see the turning radius, the turning speed is very, very slow. So let's go fast forward to the point where I actually got it to behave properly for me. If you're going to use a keyboard and mouse, unplug your gamepad. That's definitely the warning I would give. Alright, now time for some real gameplay. You can see my turning radius is much better. And it is a first person shooter, there is a reload time, hit R for reload. I think it's X on the gamepad. Space to jump. Nice and fast. Just the way I like it. Time to kill. Pretty hot. Pretty quick in this game, but not unreasonable. It's not a one shot kill, but it is pretty fast. This is an assault rifle. There are different weapons. I didn't really customize it with my class. I'm just playing in a basic assault. All kinds of terrain scattered throughout this map. We have bunkers we can go into. You can destroy terrain. So it's one of the nice things about voxels. You can destructible terrain. I can also hit G to drop my grenades. It seems that they are proximity based. I can drop them and they'll work when someone gets near. Maybe it's just the kind of grenade I'm using. Looks like uh, someone's right there. Can't quite get them. Makes me want to go start digging. Oof! Someone just threw a grenade at me. Alright, time for some revenge. That didn't go very well. Now he's in a bunker and he can't really go anywhere. Game is currently trying to get greenlit on Steam, so check it out on the Steam page. It is called Guncraft. Nice little boxer shooter. Kind of fun, lots of options. I like the idea of a customizable class. Thanks for watching, stay tuned to more. See you guys next time. Jerk got me when I wasn't watching.